Welcome to Pearl Harbor Historic Sites.org. Pearl Harbor received its name from the abundance of pearls once found in its protected shores. Pearl Harbor is the largest national harbor in Hawaii. Pearl Harbor is still an active military base as of today. It is the headquarters of the Pacific Fleet. It is now recognized as a historic landmark. One reason for that would be the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. The events that led up to Pearl Harbor, Japan invades North China, U.S. imposes trade sanctions aimed towards curbing Japan's military aggression in Asia. April 1941, the U.S. starts to monitor Jap secret Japanese messages going back and forth. This happened after Joseph Grew, the U.S. ambassador, warned them of a surprise attack that could be coming. After months of planning, Admiral Yamamoto was ready for war. They had it planned even down to the day. They planned it for a Sunday because they figured more of the people would be relaxed and least less expecting of it. November 16th, submarines leave Japan. November 26th, aircraft carriers follow along with escorts. November 27th, Admiral Husband Kimmel and Lieutenant General Walter Short receive word of possible attack on Pacific Fleet. The day of December 7th, 1941. According to history.com, 7.55 a.m. Hawaii time, Japanese dive bombers were spotted in the sky, followed by 360 Japanese warplanes. 7.02 a.m., two spotters seen a large group of aircraft, but there was a flight that was expected from the U.S., so no sirens were sounded. There was a second wave that struck at 8.40 a.m., they traveled 3,400 miles to execute their attack. The attack lasted for over two hours. Destruction and death. Most of the Pacific fleet was useless. Five out of eight battleships, three destroyers, seven others sunk or were critically damaged along with more than 200 aircraft. 2,400 Americans lost their lives and 1,200 others were wounded. Many were valiantly trying to fight off the attack by the Japanese, that being the cruise ship members, they mounted the guns and tried to shoot the planes out of the sky. Japan only, Japan's losses were 30 planes, five submarines, and fewer than 100 men. The aftermath of Pearl Harbor. The New York World Telegram wrote, the day after President Roosevelt made a speech and ended it by asking Congress to start a resolution on declaring war on Japan. The Senate approved for war 82 to zero. The House of Representatives approved for the war 388 to one. The lone voter was Representative Jeanette Rankin of Montana, who is a pacifist, who always cast a dissenting vote on World War I. Three days later, Germany and Italy declared war on the United States with the U.S. following declaring war on them. And this brings us into World War II. As you can see, the bombing of Pearl Harbor led us into the war of which we could have stayed out of. And it had a great devastating effect on the people even till this day. Uh, any questions? <laughs>